with Josh. And Babe. And Babe. So today we're going to teach you how to make Babe's homemade salsa and guacamole. Mm -hmm. And I know what you guys are thinking. Josh, didn't you mess around with salsa in the carne asada video? Well, yes we did. But we've had a lot of inquiries. Is that the right word? Inquiry about in it. Inquiries. Inquiries about in it. Inquiries. In yeah. Q-U. Inquiries. Anyways. We've had a lot of questions about it. All right, so as you know, there's so many different ways to make salsa and guacamole. There's restaurant style, you can get a mortar and pestle, right, is that what it's called? Yeah, that's what it's called. You can do all kinds of different things, and there's so many different homemade recipes um, from just all kinds of different regions. This salsa recipe is a quick and easy homemade salsa recipe. This is something, and guacamole, this is something that if you wanna go down and take the kids to the pool or go to a pool party or a picnic spur of the moment, and Betty calls you up and is like, hey, can you bring salsa and guacamole to the party? Yeah, and you need to bust it out because you don't wanna get something out of a can. Yeah, Betty. Yeah, Betty. So Babe's going to show you how to make and bust out an awesome, fresh, it's really the cilantro, the freshness, it is amazing, quick and easy salsa at home. We're going to incorporate that salsa into a quick and easy guacamole so that you, on the fly, with minimal ingredients, can prepare a homemade salsa, chips, guacamole, epic adventure, summertime is coming, hell yes. Go. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. And here we go! Uh, this is the size I make, so you can make it bigger or smaller. I'm using three baked tomatoes, steak tomatoes, two jalapeno peppers, two serrano peppers, all with the seeds, the juice of two limes, one bunch of cilantro, a whole white onion, garlic salt, salt, pepper, all to taste, and a big knife. A big ass knife. Yeah. Too big for my hand. For my guac. I'm going to use three avocados, three ripe avocados, and all I do is mash it up, and then I add in my salsa. I'll add in maybe a little bit extra jalapeno if it's not spicy enough, but it's as easy as that. And these are our favorite chips. I got Josh hooked on this, and they're cheap. They're like $1.99 a bag. Since I don't like cutting onions, and I don't do it unless I have to, I put the onions in first. Next, I cut up the tomatoes into little cubes. So next is the jalapeno, and Josh likes it really hot, so I leave the seeds in. So I like to use the Ninja Chopper because it just gets the pieces nice and small. So I'm going to put the jalapenos and the serranos in there all at the same time. And if you want to try out this Ninja, there's a link below of the one that we have. That's amazing. We love it. Here's what we got. Let's put it in. That's a lot of peppers, babe. It's going to be fan freaking tastic. You're gonna be burning. Okay. Okay, next up we have organic cilantro. And you just wanna get it really fine. Without chopping your finger off. Which is probably gonna happen eventually with this big old knife. And let me tell you guys, the freshness of this salsa and how easy it is to pull off and the, literally with the cilantro and all these fresh ingredients, no matter who you bring it to, it's impressive. Really, really impressive. Better than anything store-bought, better than anything you could just run and get out of a can or a bottle or a little whatever. Gonna roll your lime out. My hands are big enough. <laughs> you also need a lime squeezer. Everybody needs one. So we're gonna do the juice of two limes. Garlic salt to your liking. I like a lot of garlic salt because I just like the flavor of it. All right, and then we mix it up. 
You have a nice, fresh, homemade pico de gallo. I usually think that it tastes the best after it sits for at least an hour in the refrigerator. Josh likes to go at it right away, but your flavors will marry a little better. Let them sit in the fridge for a little while. I'm ready to try it. And let me tell you, Babe has made this before that she put all of it in the Ninja processor. I didn't like it as much. I like this, it's real hearty, chunky. I like it like that, because I can taste the freshness of all the stuff a lot better. So let's see how you did, babe. Oh yeah. It's so fresh and so good. The cilantro with those two different type of peppers, the citrus and the lime. Ooh, a little bit of heat, but not too much. It's just the best. Good, babe. I love it. All right, so now you're gonna show them how to incorporate it and make a quick guacamole? Yep, here's how I make my guac, Josh. Cut your avocado. Make sure they're perfect avocados. Scoop it out. Save your seeds, because that's gonna keep your guac from browning. Uh, lime and seeds. Keep it from browning. I'm using three avocados. We're gonna mash up our avocados. This is a potato masher. You can also use a fork, whatever works. And we want it to just be kind of chunky. Next, I'm going to add in some scoops of my salsa. We'll start here with three. I'm gonna do one more, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the juice. more garlic salt. Let's mix it up. I'm a Pico fan, so I have Josh test that, but I do like guac, so I'm gonna test it out. See if it needs anything else. You can add extra lime to it, you can add extra garlic salt, garlic powder, whatever suits your fancy. Mm. I think it's perfect. It's good. And then you want to let this set in the fridge for probably a half an hour to cool down. All right, you guys, you saw how the salsa was. You saw how the guacamole was. You saw how easy it was. This is just the, the base, basically. You guys can tweak it, twist it, do whatever you want. I love this stuff. I request that Babe makes it every week. Like two or three times a week. I love it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> It'll okay. be gone by like It'll be gone by tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. This is just a quick, easy salsa guacamole recipe. And check out another video on the channel. Right up there. Right over there. Right on Ben's face. See you guys later.